So hi, welcome to Test Me Tuesday. Test Me Tuesday with a difference. Today we're not looking about uh, stuff that God has done uh, in the past in people's lives. We're looking at what God is going to do in the future. So I have got the lovely Lydia with me and the lovely Josh uh, as well. And they're just going to share a little bit about what they feel God's calling them to. So Lydia, from September, will you be living in Worthing or will you be elsewhere? And if so, why? Um, so from September I'll be in Bournemouth, well Christchurch near Bournemouth um, and I won't be in Worthing anymore which is a bit weird because I'm going to go to Moreland Uni to study to be a youth worker so that's really exciting and um, yeah so, so, so I'm going to do theology with youth and community work. So what's prompted the massive change of uh, life direction? I think it's been a whole um, big process really. Obviously me and Josh have been doing the youth stuff and the kids stuff for the past few years um, at New Life and it was just God kind of always saying there's something next um, and I was always praying into it and just trying to look at different you know, internships or gap years or different things to do um, and just kind of went on a roundabout journey uh, and ended up landing on uni because I never really wanted to go to uni and I always told God I was never going to go to uni, especially not to Bible college. <laughs> Um, that didn't work out. Didn't too well. work well, did it? Um, so it, I think yeah. that makes three of us on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. in a roundabout way, um, it ended up that I was like, okay, no, I think uni is the right thing. And I want to study to become a youth worker. Uh, you know, realised that my heart grew for it, and that I had a passion for youth work uh, and just seeing young people change for Jesus. So I was like, yeah, youth work is what it's going to be, and more than just felt like the right place. It all fitted in really well, and uh, just felt like it was exactly the right place for me. Brilliant, brilliant. And you, Josh, uh, come September, uh, we haven't got any quite got concrete plans. What are we, what are we hoping the plan will be? We, we don't have any uh, brittle rock plans. <laughs> um, it, it could all change within a week, but at the moment it looks like I'm going to be London-based, by the looks of it, uh, at some kind of either an internship or a placement with some kind of course at the same time at Spurgeon's and the course depending on whether I'm at a placement or an internship. Um, so it's all of it up in the air at the moment. Uh, MRC said, yes, they see a calling uh, on my life to the Baptist ministry, but they want me to get more experience. So, so. ultimately, you want to uh, become a minister. So this is the kind of the first steps going towards uh, becoming yeah. a minister. Yeah, they want some experience outside of you. So a bit like a question to Lydia, what, what prompted that then? Um, I think even when I was younger, I had people kind of telling me you know, that they see God moving in my life and calling me to bigger things. And I think I started off with that looking at, uh, like Lydia said, looking at smaller things and then kind of refining that with God, saying, what do you want me to do? I was on looking at an internship at Portsmouth, some of you may remember or know, and that fell through. And after that, I was kind of going, well, actually, if that's not it, God, what are you wanting me to do? And then we moved on to ministry. Um, and I kind of had, went through the process of not feeling good enough or feeling too young. And uh, I kind of every time, every time I told someone about it, they were just like, yeah, I've been thinking that for a while. And it just kind of slunk, so, slowly sunk in and I slowly came to the realisation, actually, yeah, this is what God wants to do. And yes, I may not be good enough and I may not be, I may be too young now, but actually that doesn't matter because yeah. it's God that's going to equip me and God that's going to use me. I'm just being the vessel for God. Um, and then the hope is that you start Bible college in a year's time. Yeah, that is that is the hope. And again, and so your three years training. Yeah. So after you've done your year to get a bit more experience, your three years training. Yeah. So once you've both done your three years, what's the hope? What's 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 the dream? Yeah, we, the we would have to look for a church which yeah. would hire a minister and a youth leader, so which is already difficult. So you want to do youth work. Yeah. And you want to be a, a minister. Yeah, we. Uh, some of you will know we've been dating for over four and a half years now and it's looking at that stage steady, kind of steady don't say anything this has been recorded i know it's been recorded <laughs> but it's looking at the stage of looking what's next for us as well if we get married what would happen things like that so there's a lot of variables in play and i think that we can have ideas but three years or four years for me things could really change and i don't want to put say this is what's going to happen because actually that might not be what god wants and it might actually be what yeah. happens. Like, I, I learned from a young age growing up with a dad as a pastor, you don't set your sights on yeah. technically what the world views as stability. 
because actually we would I will never have that world's view of stability. Yeah. Mm. But actually through God I'll have a much better stability. Mm. That that's what I need to I did a talk on with the youth a while back saying actually what do you pin your hopes on? And I asked them, I said, in, when you look at the future, what do you hope for? And I was looking for the answers of money, clothes, house, cars. I was like, great, thanks. Great things to, to look for, but you look for the wrong things. I said, when you strive for those things, you, when you don't get them, how are you going to fit? And I said, I grew up in a family, we never had much money growing up. We have some money now, and it, we all find it weird. <laughs> <laughs> growing up, we had like no money. And um, I said, but actually one thing that we always had was between us, we loved each other. We strove for joy, for laughter, for peace and things like that. And through that, we were never unstable. We were never unloved. We, were, we had joy. We had laughter. The rest of those things didn't matter because we had what God intended us to have. Yeah. We, you know, I never went hungry. I, I never went, you know, without laughter. Without, you know, we had Playstations and things like that. You know, I, I, it's only since when I became older and talking to you guys, I actually realised how little money we had. <laughs> you know, I, I knew we weren't rich because I saw my friends going on, you know, skiing <laughs> holidays and stuff like that. Because we grew, we grew up in quite a nice area, but you know, I, there was always a roof over my head, and you were loved. And I was I was never hungry, never thirsty, and I was loved. And uh, so I spent through them, and I realised that's going to have to be. I'm never going to have much money, especially if Lydia's a youth worker as well, you know. I think for both of us, it's just that, you know, it's it's that here I am, send me moment. At, at the end of uni, that's where we'll be. We'll be like, send us wherever yeah. you want us. For me, I'd love to come back to Worthing because I've lived here all my life. It's like a place that I've got, like, you know, a town that I've got a heart for. Um, I'd love to come back to new life, but... Uh, who knows where so that's, new that's, life will so, be in three years and so, who so knows the dream, where we'll be the dream is that you'll both end up married, ministering in the church Yeah. so so you're kind of expecting God to open all sorts of doors for you in the next three years so yeah. as we come to the end of our, our time together just one question each, same question uh, and it's for, for our several million viewers <laughs> that we have, which is about 15 now I think um, if, if somebody feels that that God's calling them to do something. What would you say to them? What would, what what quick bit of advice would you give to them? Don't presume you're right. I mean, uh, we've both talked about things that we were looking at before, and I went through for something and it didn't work out, and I'd have hurt and disappointed. And you had the same when you were younger as well. And actually, you've got to talk to people. You've got to pray about mm -hmm. it. You've got other people to pray about it because actually, it's a serious matter, and you could end up. You know, there's people that have strove their lives on mission for God and they've never achieved anything because they were in the wrong place. So yours Actually, is don't trust God has amazing things for you, but, you know, sometimes it can be your own desires. So make sure you, yeah. you check and test it. And Lydia? Yeah, I think I'd say just trust the whole process. Trust that actually throughout the whole thing, God's literally walking with you through, ev through everything you're going through. Yeah. And every little thing, whether it's good or bad, that you go through is moulding you into who God wants you to be and it will help you and equip you for what God wants you to do. Mm. Um, you know, yeah, we did, like, uh, you know, apply for things or we were looking at different things and it's not wrong to do that. It's good to keep your options open and look at all the different things. Um, and actually, it might even be God's plan that you do apply for something else or look at something else and actually it falls through because then you would have you know found just a, a better way of searching for whatever else it is that you need to do mm. um yeah just trust the whole process and mm. trust god throughout the whole thing as well great well thank you both for your time that's a another testimony tuesday one with a bit of a difference and uh depending on when we post this we may see you next week god bless bye <laughs>